Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Today, we are excited to bring you a 2024 KZ Connect, model number 313MK. So let's get started. The length on this Connect is 36 feet, one inch. The dry weight is 8,130 and that hitch weight is 910. Ooh, I'm excited yes. about we, the Connect here. We are so excited about this. If you guys have watched us for any length of time, you'll know that we actually own a Connect. Now ours is a little bit older. It's got a little older paint scheme. So I'm so excited over this paint scheme and these new graphics. They look absolutely wonderful. Now let's show you some of the storage. Um, you, I know you're thinking, well, there's not a lot of outside storage here, and you're correct, but you're going to love what you see on the inside. So we're going to take you on around here. Got some more storage. Right I mean, here. that's actually um, pretty deep under there. Cool. Your dump area is going to be here, so it's very easy to get to. Your docking station right up here, I think it's that's actually... water heater you were actually open so there we go so you can see your docking station your outside shower yes this That's is a foggetti foggetti Fog somebody tell us how to pronounce that we have not seen this one so yeah yeah so yeah we haven't seen that we've one. seen something new today all right well hey come on let's move on down here and we'll show you there's another little outside storage right here So this is a pretty good spot. This actually would be a great spot to um, stash some of your water um, hoses and things like that. We apologize for the road noise. We are right at the highway. So let's go ahead and show you the back real quick. Nice big window back here. You're gonna have a spare ladder and it is already prepped for a backup camera. Um, you do have a hitch down here. Um, not not for towing yeah not for towing so this would be great for your bike racks or something like that um, your yeah, your quick connect is going to be right back here at the back and you'll see that it is going to have power stabilizers so again let's see let's show you another shot of these graphics I just love these graphics guys um, you're going to have two awnings one is 11 foot and one is 13 so this is going to cover almost all of your campsite and yeah a little more storage right up here we'll show you this real quick um it is already wired up for your tire link up here and you got an outside light and that's your switch for your uh yes oh, let me see yeah, can you see your i don't know if it's all i don't know if it shows up but it's got a really cool led light strip up there that's blue yeah so cool. hey let's go inside and take a look at this because ours got uh ours has <laughs> ours has three single little blue lights three little bitty lights <laughs> yes. we love our connect but i am fascinated by these updates that they have made well, one right there as soon as we come in asdale siding. yes this does have asdale siding um so if you guys know this, that siding will not delaminate. Let's take a quick look around. Um, this is a great layout. It's um, almost like a fifth wheel. Fifth wheel yeah. So we'll just start right back here at the very back. This is going to have a trifold sofa. Mm -hmm. You've got end tables on both sides yep. with storage underneath. You've got power outlets on both sides, cabinets across the top. Know, can, you, can you zero in on these new I love Handles? this new hardware. hardware. That is nice. This, these, they look really, really good. So, oh, and that cut. And yes, the the roller shades. All the um, way around. So that's cool. We may have to trade ours in. <laughs> oh. I'm really, really liking this one. I'll just tell you. Now the vents in this are going to be in the floor. Um, I think they have lightened up their flooring for two, um, 24. This, I think so. Because ours seems, is a little darker. Yeah, ours is more grayish. And this has got more of a beige undertone. But hey, let me do this front slide here real quick. You're going to have your theater seating right here. Pull down cup holders in the middle. A little bit of power with a USB. Um, you are going to have heat massage and a light. And a USB port in this. Yeah. And we got room for Rosie. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, you got room for a dog in there. No, like our dog stinks. I don't want to take her. Uh, <laughs> this is going to have a booth-style dinette in it. Um, not sure if you can option a table and chairs in there. That would be something we could look up on KZ. I think you can. I think you probably can. But this will make additional sleeping if you need it. So you've got storage underneath with these totes under here. Mm -hmm. So great place to stash extra blankets or things that you don't need every day. I'm going to turn around and have a seat here on this wonderful theater seating. And this is what your entertainment center will look like. So you've got storage up above it. This is a good size. This is probably a 40. Probably a 40 or so. 42. 40, maybe 42 inch TV. But it also. Yes. Will come out. Yes. A it, little bit more and swivel. It is on a swing arm. So you can pull it out a little bit. Your radio and speakers are gonna be right below it and a really nice size electric fireplace. Let me show you this island real quick. Um, they've done some changes to the island. They've given you storage here at the end, little cubbies. Two plug-ins on this side and two more storage areas on this end. Um, now this is not gonna have solid surface, but it does have a sealed edge um, membrane. But I like top. the finish on it. It's a very nice finish. They've um, kind of toned down the marble look a little bit, so it's a little more subtle. Nice big single basin sink with a high-rise faucet. Your storage underneath. Plenty of room here for a garbage can. Uh, we've checked out the plumbing connections under it. We are extremely <laughs> impressed with that. Uh, three drawers here for your silverware and other things. Wow. Right back behind oh your goodness. island is your cooking area. Big storage on both sides of the microwave. Um, nice long window. Now this will not open, but it will give you some uh, natural light. Good range. <laughs> and a three burner cooktop with an oven. There's a drawer oh beneath it. Gosh. Drawer. Drawer. And more drawers. Drawer. And uh, more drawers. And wow. over here, you have cabinet space. And I, I may have just made everybody dizzy with moving that. I'm so sorry. So. Yeah, way to go. Great, great storage in this kitchen. Finishing. I like the, uh, stop you for a second. Yes. I like the cabinet tone. I do the like the board. cabinet tones. Um, I don't know how well they're going to show up on camera, but they are, they're sort of a taupe color. They're mm. not, they're not beige and they're not gray. They're, I guess you could call it grayish. <laughs> so. Okay. Anyway, here is your 12 volt compressor fridge. Yes. All right. Very, very nice. And finishing out your kitchen is going to be your coffee bar area. Lots of storage up above it. Oh my goodness. Like they do give you a plug in there. And I like that they give you a backsplash on that. Yep. And it's not, it's not a busy backsplash, so it doesn't make you dizzy when you look at it. Got storage down below that. And I also like they give you a USB right here. That way you can... Yes. Plug your phone in and have something charging right there. Yes, and so you've got a very convenient place for it. I like it. that. Um, your AC controller is going to be there. We don't uh, sound like we're, we like KZ or nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like you're not supposed to have your favorite kids, but you know you do. So, with that, let's move down the hall. Um, great size bathroom for, you know, this is travel trailer. Honestly, I've seen some smaller than this in a fifth wheel so jeremy's six feet tall good headspace got a skylight up there if you need it the retractable shower door now i'm going to plug these just a little bit we have one of these doors we've been having using it for three years no problems it's easy to clean and we just we just love it yeah there we go uh right down here is going to be your foot flush toilet it's got a nice angle to it so you can have plenty of leg room you are going to have storage below your sink. Um, and there's a mess and cabinet. Yes. And you actually have really, really good space, um, counter space around your sink. Wow. Okay. All right. Go right ahead. Here we are. Let's move into the main bedroom. Now your controllers are going to be up here. You can see these are touch activated. And this is going to be your uh, water heater control. Whew. 
got a sliding door going into the main bedroom. Uh, this is going to have a king size bed on a slide. You've got a couple of shelves up there. They give you reading lights. We're so jealous. We don't have reading lights. Yeah. <laughs> and a plug in on both sides. Um, I actually like that they did not put cabinets across the top because uh, that just seems to shut your space down so this much. This seems a little more open. It's very open. Hey, please leave us a comment. Tell me, do you like the cabinets above the bed or do you like it open like this? Well, here, let's check under the bed. Underneath, you're going to have some storage under there. And this one is, this is what we showed you from the outside. So it is accessible both ways. Uh, well. While we're here, okay, let's, let's show them this. One. Here is some, some hanging space. This isn't all of your hanging space, but I'm going to get right in here and show you that if you don't need it to hang, it is prepped for a combo washer dryer. And you, you've got to plug in up here at the ceiling for that. Wow. Yes. Really, really like that. Um, your second AC controller here, you'll see it's already mounted in here. I'm going to turn around and show you what all is at the foot of the bed. Wow. So you just have this awesome area back here. You got um, storage on both sides. If you want to add an extra TV, it'll go up above your window and you'll see that there's some accent lighting up there. Just, just really And nice you can touch. turn it off separate. Mm-hmm. You can. Drawers down here. Cabinets yes. down here. Um, let me show you how much floor space. I mean, that's that's good floor space for a travel trailer. Yeah. Uh, but hey, wait, we're not finished. There is even more. So you've got a sliding mirrored door. Oh, yes. And right across the front is even more storage. You've got another hanging bar up here. You can put shelf. Well, there's already shelves there. There is a plug-in back there if you need it. You've got those same shelves on this other side. And, of course, all of this. It's basically it's just, your, that's your pass-through well, storage. Well, it is your pass-through storage. And, of course, they give you the, you do have a windshield. Uh, the front windshield so, to let some light in here. Yeah, you can always leave the door open and, and raise that up if you need extra light. Wow. Okay. We're, we're just absolutely tickled when, over this one. It's, we're impressed. Oh, uh, do you want to show them right here? What am I showing? Back up. Back up. Right there is your light switches. Ah, yes. Just one as you come in the door. One is the room. Door. And then this one is the is your accent, accent lighting light switch. Up there. Cuts them off. So, oh, cool. Right by the door where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, if you've watched us any time, you'll know that we don't have a plug in in our, I mean, a Light, light switch, switch in our bedroom and we're jealous <laughs> all right everybody if you like this kz connect the dealership's information will be down in our description and like always if you just found our channel go ahead and subscribe follow along with us and give us a thumbs up and follow us on facebook thanks everybody